this too. Oh, you too. Oh. Okay, can you guys go get back on your bed? Hi, welcome back to my garden, or in this case, uh, my house. <laughs> Today I'm really excited to be starting my indoor seed sowing. I bought a bunch of seeds, uh, mostly from Johnny's and then also some from West Coast Seeds. And I organized them all based on uh, how long before the last frost date you need to start them. So there's like a four to six week category, kind of six to eight. These are all the ones that need at least 10 weeks before the last frost date. So for us, that's normally um, kind of mid-April-ish. So the plan is to get all these guys started in here <laughs> and then once they're kind of they have their true leaves and they're growing then i can move them to the garage where it stays above seven degrees so kind of halfway to being outdoors and then once the last frost date happens then they can go into the greenhouse or maybe a little bit before that and kind of i'll up pot them each time i move them so anyway that's the plan <laughs> so for the setup here i just got like a folding table and a tablecloth and I use the tablecloth in case I put like a heater underneath. Some of them benefit from like a little heating. So I thought if I put, um, I don't know if it's a fire hazard, so I'm not recommending it. But um, anyway, I was gonna try maybe putting a little heater on just in the beginning and I was gonna time it with the grow lights so that it only comes on kind of during the daytime. Um, speaking of the grow lights, we got this uh, fairly cheap, but not too bad looking uh, light stand. And we have a, a few different kinds of grow lights. These ones are my favorite. They're super strong. Um, and even like the succulents, I'll, you'll get like a little coloring and stuff on them. So the, they're kind of intense. Anyway, so I have those ones pointing a little further away. And then this one's just like a little bit less intense. So that's a little closer. Um, and then as far as the soil mix that I use, I basically got this like organic seed starting mix that was for like flowers and vegetables and everything. And then I added some pumice to it, mostly just because I love pumice and I love what it does in the soil. Like it helps keep it oxygenated and it helps retain moisture. So um, exactly what most little seedlings need. Um, the soil is all pre-moistened and I actually did it with like lukewarm water because I didn't want it to be super cold for them um, even though I guess it'll warm up pretty quickly. Um, okay so the first seeds that I have are um, two different kinds of delphinium. So I have Magic Fountains Sky Blue White Bee. <laughs> so I'll get pictures from the website to post because I haven't grown either of these before. But this is one that I like, I love the color. It's that really kind of light blue one, um, almost not neon-y, but kind of. <laughs> um, and I can never find it like as a plant. So I was excited to find the seeds for it. And then this one here is Guardian White. So this is a hybrid delphinium and it's white. <laughs> um, yeah, so these ones, it says that they want 27 degrees or 80 Fahrenheit during the day and then 21 or 70 Fahrenheit at night. So they're not gonna get that here. <laughs> but um, we tend to keep the house, I think around 18. So whatever that is in um, Fahrenheit, maybe 65 or so. And then, so that's why I was gonna use a, a heater underneath during the day to get them like maybe a little above 20 or so. Anyway, and it says that these ones don't mind being dark. So basically I'll um, sew them on the top and then I'll just like cover them lightly with a little more pumice. And then next I have Dusty Miller and I'm really excited about this. I have, I wasn't sure if it would be hardy in our zone because it's um, eight till 10. And although we're, I think technically an eight, it's very wet here and this one doesn't like love that, but I guess where I planted it in the garden, it um, was happy. So I think as long as they're not like sitting in too much moisture, they'll be fine. So anyway, I'm really excited. These ones have really pretty leaves. I guess they dry well. They're also good for like cut flower arrangements and stuff. And I was thinking for the white and shade garden, it would look like amazing <laughs> to have kind of that silvery fuzzy foliage. Um, and hopefully the bunnies don't like them. I feel like the bunnies don't like fuzzy things. Anyway, so that's these ones. It says to sow them about 10 weeks 
uh, before and these ones you don't want to cover at all so I'm just gonna like sprinkle them on the top and then just like not do anything and these ones um, want kind of similar temperatures it says germination is seven to ten days okay next I have a hybrid snapdragon um, and it's called Potomac Ivory so these ones I got because they seem to be like kind of an earlier um, blooming one I think they like to bloom kind of during the cool weather so germination 7 to 14 days at like 21 to 24 degrees and then after they are um, after they have like three to five true leaves it says to keep them at about like 10 to 13 so I think that would be like perfect for the garage so and then that's where they'll grow on and then I can plant them out it says after the last frost but here um we have them growing like all year round like they never die back especially when they're right up against the house so i think that they're like kind of semi-hardy here um so i'm thinking i might even like put them out a little bit earlier or maybe do it in batches that's the nice thing about growing like a 72 tray because i'll have like um enough to experiment with so maybe i can try some out earlier than others and see how they do and kind of know for next year so anyway that's the snapdragons Next I have Echinacea, so this is the purple coneflower. I grew some of these last year and they didn't bloom the first year, but I sowed them in April, so I thought maybe they just like didn't have time. I'm hoping that they'll bloom this year, but I thought that if I start some early enough, um, maybe they would bloom the first year. So I already did some in my video for like the uh, winter sowing, like outdoor sowing. So I did a batch there and I wanted to do a batch indoors so that I definitely have some going and hopefully can get some blooms this year. Um, this one's also about um, 10 weeks before frost. So seed shallowly and they germinate unevenly in kind of a week to three weeks. Uh, and these ones say transplant in early spring when light frost is still possible. So that's like perfect. <laughs> And then last, one of my favorites is uh, Verbena bonariensis. So that's the like lollipop looking Verbena. And um, these ones are amazing, just like amazing landscape plants. Uh, these ones say to sow eight to 12 weeks. So I kind of pick 10. Um, I did do these in the winter sowing video as well. And I just wanted to try some indoors um, too. This is what I did last year and it definitely worked. So I was kind of like, just in case the winter sowing one doesn't work for these, at least I'll have some indoors too. Um, and then these ones, I think, especially when they're young, they need um, humidity. Let's see, cover seed lightly with medium, seed is slow to germinate and sensitive to excessive moisture. Okay, so keep medium on the dry side until emergence. Transplant to cell packs or larger containers after true leaves appear. I'm just putting them straight into those. Harden off and transplant outdoors. Okay, so that's like different than what I thought, which was to keep it um, humid so I may actually keep them uncovered and just see how they do we'll find out <laughs> all right so now that everybody's planted I'm just going to cover the ones that need to be a little bit covered with some pumice um, I'm not going to water it again because the pumice will be moist because I just rinsed it and also the soil is already moist so I don't want to like overdo it so hopefully these will start to germinate in the next week or two and then they probably won't need anything from me kind of for the next like month or maybe even longer for some of them so um i'll let you know when, once i move them to the next place and the next batch that i'll be starting are the like six to eight week ones so i'll do that in um kind of mid-february so um hopefully some of these will be ready to move out so that i can have a little more room and if you're thinking about starting any seeds um it's not like a super high-tech setup <laughs> and even like if it's the first like the very first time we did it which was like two years ago i just did like two of these 72 seed trays and i just did like one or two little rows of each thing kind of just to experiment and now i'm like okay i want like a tray of each thing but um yeah you don't need like that much space and even for the grow lights like if these were on a sunny windowsill or something they wouldn't need it here it's like a rainforest so it's pretty dark um this time of year even if you're in a window <laughs> um but yeah anyway uh it's like super fun to experiment with so i will let you know how it goes and um thanks for coming along